So you've just got your new bike and you're ready to hit either the road or the trail. But there's one thing that you should always expect and that's the unexpected. Whew. And I think we can all agree that Uber's pretty expensive, so you should be able to fix your bike in a pinch. So today we're gonna talk about what essentials you should have on you, what you should do if you get a flat, as well as some mechanical mishaps and how to handle them. So let's get going. Before you even leave the house, let's cover the essential items to keep either in your pack or on your bike. For flats on tubeless setups, we advise a puncture repair kit, a CO2 inflator, and a pump. A spare tube is an optional bailout if you have the space. For flats on a tubed bike, we advise a tube, a pump, and some tire levers. For mechanical issues anywhere on the bike, you should also carry a multi-tool. Let's start off with addressing a tubeless flat. You're enjoying your ride and you feel the horrific sensation of a tire going flat. Rather than assuming the fetal position on the side of the road until help arrives, let's fix it. We can sort this out by inserting a tire plug, aka bacon, into the tire. Next, use a CO2 cartridge to quickly inflate the tire back up. Finally, use your pump to top off the tire's air pressure and carry on with your ride. Now let's assume you get a tube flat. You're riding along when suddenly you hear the menacing hiss of air leaving your tire. Unsure of how and where it happened, you can only assume a trail troll got you. Not to worry, we have the tools and the procedure to get this problem sorted. First, remove the wheel in question. Using your tire levers, remove one side of the tire. Now pull the deceased tube out and pay your respects. Next, partially inflate your new tube with the pump and get it into position. Finally, get your tire back in place and inflate to a rideable pressure. You're ready to ride again. Now let's tackle some mechanical mishaps that can happen. This is an odd one, but sometimes a seat post can decide it doesn't want to seat post today, and instead, it will slip into the frame. If this happens, make sure to verbally affirm your seat post first, raise it back into position, and then torque the clamp to spec, giving it no choice but to show up to work. It's worth mentioning that you should take note or mark your seat post's ideal height for you. If your shifting takes a nosedive, you may have to quickly adjust your cable tension. All bikes have what is known as a barrel adjuster, but the locations can vary. Mountain bikes often have them at the shifter, while the road bikes have them at the derailleur. If shifting is sluggish going into easier gears, add tension by what scientists call a lefty-loosey. If shifting is sluggish going into harder gears, reduce tension by doing an equally scientific righty-tighty on your barrel adjuster. If your shifting is still suffering with symptoms like gears being skipped, you may have a bent hanger. The last mishap we will cover today is a dropped chain. The best way to address a drop chain is to first get off the road or trail so you can flip your bike over and work without blocking the flow of traffic. For all bikes, you can just extend your derailleur cage to get slack and use your hand to guide the chain back into position. Side note, if the chain is wedged somewhere that it shouldn't be, make sure to take your time getting it free. You don't want to make the situation worse. And that's gonna wrap up today's tutorial. We have some fantastic items on our website that can help you stay prepared just like this. So make sure that you check those description links. We hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure that you comment below and let us know what you want us to cover next. Thanks for watching here at Bikes Online and we'll see you next time. Cut. About to destroy a perfectly good tire. I've never done this before and it feels very counterintuitive. So here we go. God. It's actually pretty tough. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm through. Here we go. There it goes. There's the sealant. All right. Cool. Cut.